Hi everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to design and simulate Arduino adapter also known as rectifier circuit in Proteus. So let's get started. So first let us understand the basics. What is a rectifier circuit? A rectifier circuit is a device that converts AC current into the DC current. So this DC current basically used in all of your chargers, all of your DC devices for power supply maybe it is 12 volts or 5 volts let's see what are the components required to make this circuit so first is the step down transformer this is basically used to reduce the ac volt from 230 volts to 5 volts next is four diodes now here why we are using four diodes is because we need two half wave that can be converted later on to constant 5 volts DC. Third component required is capacitor. So capacitor basically smoothens the waveform and it also used to remove the spikes if you have in your waveform so that there is constant 5 volts. Now we need one more component that is load resistor at the output end and uh, 5 volts regulator is also optional if you want to ensure the output what you have received is 5 volt there is no fluctuation okay so apart from that you can use the jumper wires which is quite obvious let's make a circuit using all of these components and we see how the circuit will be designed so quickly uh, open Proteus Now here I will select new project. Let's give the name as Arduino Adapter underscore five volts rectifier circuit quite a big name but anyways that's fine click on next 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 finish so we have our working window open now we will import all our components one by one click on parts so you got a pick device option so type here first um, a transformer so transformer so we will select transformer 2p 2s which is which stands for two primary and two secondary so that basically a coil says two primary and two secondary coil so click on ok let's place it over here um, now we need a AC source so we will type vsyn which belongs to voltage sine wave click on ok paste it over here a bridge rectifier or let's say diode select this diode click on ok and uh, we'll place four of these diodes here here and here fine um, now we need one more capacitor and a load resistor so let's search for the capacitor click on ok place it over here now we will search for a load resistor so type on resistor click on ok place it over here we will place it vertically now quickly let's make a circuit connection so this will be connected to each other like a bridge
done uh, so we have a uh, reach of all the diodes now let's connect this input AC over here and this one also over here and these two and will act as an output so let's connect this over here and this end will be connected to this so this is done now let's connect the load here we go and uh, let's connect the primary coil of the transformer to power supply that is AC power supply done so we have almost all our connections only thing is we need to provide the power supply values and also the values for the resistor and capacitor resistor and capacitor so click on power supply first so amplitude let's keep as 331 which later on converted to 230 volts which is a common power supply in our house and frequency let's keep as 50 hertz click on ok and here the coil value should be 1 henry and this one should be quite less very very less the secondary coil should be 0004 now so we have input value set we have transformer value set we have capacitor values to be added so it should be close to 4700 microfarad click on ok done and the load resistor should be less shouldn't be 10k click on ok it's time to add some say plot or say some meters so that we can know what is the output like a voltmeter or something like that so let's search over here so we have oscilloscope that's good click on it let's place it over here and let's use one AC voltmeter which is on the input end and one DC voltmeter on the output end now let's make a connection for this and we will connect pin number A to input end on the primary coils of the transformer and pin number B to secondary coil so that we can know what is the output and pin C will be connected at the output just for a reference i know like it will be a straight line but anyways we'll see that so we have everything done except one thing is missing that is ground so let's see where we can find ground so it's here here and place it over here zoom a little bit make a connection done So the circuit is done. Now it's time to simulate. Here you have simulate button, similar to the play button. Click on that. You see the waveform. Now this is from the oscilloscope. People who don't know about the oscilloscope. So basically it is something like you see on the screen but since we are simulating all the circuits so it looks like this and 
often oscilloscope has a ground pin but uh, since it is a digital we are not going to make a connection for that now so we need to adjust so that we can use a, we can see the complete waveform so first we will set this to least value over here we try to make this less as say 10 volts sorry create as 10 volts because the input voltage is quite high mm, let's make it to 20 and uh, similarly uh, so basically this LO1 is for the input you can see this LO1 is for the A that is from the primary coil and B that is blue one is from the secondary coil so we expect a 5 volts from here and C that is red so, sorry pinkish here you can see the channels here. so this is for the DC output so let's adjust this this one as well now uh, the only thing what we can see is kind of mountain uh, why because we have selected the frequency range quite high that is one millisecond so let's try to reduce it down so that we can see the waveform properly and see this now we can see the complete waveform so here we are so we have this from should be somewhere close to 5 volts we need to calculate that okay and this one is from DC so it should be close to 0 yeah so this is 0 volts so yeah so this is what the output is so anyways uh, you can check this later on now our main circuit uh, we can analyze or we can see the output is over here so you can see when I zoom a bit you can see the AC voltage is 236 and output is 5 volts so that is what we had designed so we had designed a circuit so that it provides a 5 volts output so 5 volts output is supported for the Arduino board now if someone had simulated already this they can buy the components and assemble it as shown in the circuit diagram and they can test what is the output using same circuit so that is about the rectifier circuit aka the Arduino adapter I quite often receive an email saying that they want a project file they want a code so for that we had so you can download all our project files from there so let me show you how you can find that so so in this website click on topics select innovative V so you can find all the project files in here so you can find out all the description uh, for example like if you open any of the blog uh, you can find the circuit diagram you can find the components description of your project if and if you want to buy the components you can click on over here and this will take you to the Amazon link and uh, you have everything on this so Arduino code Proteus project and your YouTube link as well